Heading now further up to northern Queensland, Townsville's Museum of Tropical Queensland presents the edition of Pandora Gallery, an exhibition showcasing fragments of the renowned Pandora shipwreck that was found in the outskirts of the Great Barrier Reef. Here's Eagle News correspondent Laurie Kate Solomon to walk us through. Go ahead, Laurie. Here at the Museum of Tropical Queensland features the newfound evidence from archaeological findings with a treasure trove of underwater artifacts on display. Pandora may never have made such a mark on our history pages had the main pump not failed 12 hours later. Unable to keep water from entering the hull, Captain Edwards gave the order to abandon ship. Pandora was consumed by the ocean, taking 31 crew and 4 mutineers with it. A well-armed British Royal Navy warship wrecks in the Torres Strait in 1971. This is what remains of the HMS Pandora, the oldest shipwrecked on the Great Barrier Reef. On the 28th of August 1791, HMS Pandora arrived at the edge of the Great Barrier Reef, and what a barrier it proved to be. Captain Edward sent out a small boat to investigate the navigability of the waters and in an attempt to pick it up, struck an isolated reef. Luckily, a rising tide and the crew's efforts at the pump refloated Pandora to safety. Finding shipwrecks can be a challenge. Despite decades of searching and knowing the approximate location of Pandora, it wasn't until 1977, a group led by Steve Dahm and John Heyer, the other by Ben Kropp, found the wreck with assistance from the Royal Australian Air Force. However, it would take another two years of archaeological surveys to confirm it was the infamous shipwreck. Pandora is located 140 kilometers east-southeast of Cape York on the Outer Barrier Reef. It sits below 30 meters of water, hidden amongst towering coral outcrops. Although it is one of Australia's most significant archaeological sites, much of the vessel remains buried below the seabed. What we see here today in the Museum of Tropical Queensland is only half of the HMS Pandora's entirety. The rest remains undisturbed for future archaeologists to return with more advanced tools and technology. Reporting from Townsville, Australia, this is Laurie Kate Solomon, Eagle News. We live in interesting times. Thank you, Laurie. This latest exhibition will absolutely encourage more visitors to check out the museum. 